As an Android engineer, I have seen firsthand how the ecosystem is growing, from tablets to foldables to wearables. With the latest tools, APIs, and guidance, it is getting easier to develop for all the screens users interact with, beyond just mobile. We wanted to catch up with some of our partners to hear about their latest innovations in hardware. First up at MWC, I visited Android Avenue, where the OnePlus team was waiting to show me their new watch, the OnePlus Watch 2. We're super excited that we're launching the OnePlus Watch 2 here at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. And one of the things that OnePlus really had to work closely with Google on is the notifications and making sure that it is working with that efficiency chipset that we have in the device to make sure that the battery doesn't drain. And the OnePlus Watch 2 specifically has up to 100 hours of battery life. It's going to have a super durable premium build to it as well that we know our users are going to love. We are using stainless steel and we're also using a sapphire crystal as well to really make it a premium durable experience. We're also bringing dual frequency GPS for those runners or hikers who are looking for accuracy in GPS tracking. For developers, it's easy. A developer just has to develop an app for the OnePlus Watch 2, like they're developing an app for just Wear OS. Next up, I headed to Xiaomi to hear about the Xiaomi Watch 2, another exciting addition to the Wear OS ecosystem. I am so excited to introduce our latest smartwatch device. It's called Xiaomi Watch 2. For the first time, we realized the camera remote for the photo and the video at the very same time, so you can just capture the moment directly on your wrist. This is the first time for global market we launched professional skiing sports modes. So we hope in the winter time, every winter sports lover could enjoy their time more. We know a lot of smartwatch users care about their health. So this time we improve our algorithm for sleep monitoring and wrist monitoring, which means it could collect the data more accurately. We hope this product could help more people to enjoy their healthier life. Our Xiaomi Watch 2 also equipped with 5 system, L1 plus L5 GNSS. So combined with the Google Maps on your watch, it can make your traveling and business trip way much easier. We're so excited to co-work with Google for this amazing product powered by Wear OS. So let's keep exploring more interesting features in the coming future together. At my last stop, we switched it up, looking at the latest in foldables from Honor, the Honor Magic V2. We're super excited to have launched on February 25th at our Day Zero launch event, the Porsche Design Magic V2 RSR. The Magic V2 is the world's thinnest and lightest foldable on the market today. We've really done an incredible job bringing state-of-the-art battery technology, screen display technology, uh, and packed it into a foldable form factor that the world has never seen before. So for any foldable, it's really having the multifaceted capability of being used as a standard phone, but also in its open form. With the larger screen real estate, we're really hoping that users can take advantage of greater productivity as well as improved gaming experiences. One example of this is our collaboration with Gameloft's Asphalt 9 title. We've brought 120 FPS gameplay, which is an immersive gaming experience for our customers, exclusive on the Magic V2. We welcome the developer community to join us in building next-gen features for foldables to bring to users around the world. With all these cool new wearable and foldable devices coming out soon for users, I wanted to understand a bit more about what we as developers can do to build on top of them. So I spoke with Alex Vanyo, a developer relations engineer on the Android team. I started by asking him about the new Wear OS devices we saw from OnePlus and Xiaomi and what that means for developers. The latest updates in Wear OS hardware come from close collaboration with our partners, with brand new features and enhanced battery life for users. Even with these new devices and updated experiences though, devs can still use existing Wear OS APIs to get the necessary optimizations. No code changes needed. Next, I asked Alex about the new foldable from Honor and what developers should know about building for this unique, innovative device type. The Android large screen ecosystem has continued to grow, and foldables have been an especially important part of the innovation we have seen from our hardware partners like Honor. Foldables and other large screen devices make it far more common for your app to change size. Users give your app a window and want to see the best experience that adapts to that space. Designing and building adaptive layouts enable an app to look and work great on a variety of window sizes. Finally, as an engineer myself, I wanted to hear from the team at Google what resources are available to me as I start building for the latest Android devices. There are many resources devs can tap into to be sure their app looks great across devices. Compose is an amazing way to build apps on different form factors. Compose for Wear OS and the upcoming adaptive layouts for large screens help devs bring their apps to life with less code powerful tools, and intuitive APIs. If you're looking for a great way to get started, check out the Wear OS and large screen galleries at developer.android.com, where you can find UX inspiration 
and design guidance tailored to your type of app. Find those two galleries Alex mentioned by clicking on the links below.